Andre Onana Banyak betul nama dia Dia dekat laman mana-mana lah Laman sosial yang wujud dekat dunia ni sebenarnya Tapi seperti biasa juga Aku ada lakukan cepat melibatkan Andre Onana Mungkin kita boleh tengok dekat belakang ni uh, Yes Aku bercakap tentang hari ni kita tahu yang Andre Onana ada dekat Man United sebab katanya untuk ball distribution banyak dengan uh, bola di kaki lebih baik banding kalau nak cerita sebelum ni David Dia. Tapi now ada juga fan Man United yang minta untuk Arthur Bender mengisi tempat as a first choice goalkeeper. Adam, you choose which one? You stay with Andre Onana or it's time for Arthur Bender? I think Because Afcon is coming, okay. you know he's going to go. Okay. Uh, if he says no, FIFA could say you're not allowed to play for Manchester okay. United. So then what happens? I would actually just say start, start the new keeper. Just try. What have you got to lose? Honestly, right now I said Doku is like Darwin Nunes. You know who else is like Darwin Nunes? <laughs> oh, Andre Onana. You know why? <laughs> I'll tell you what. Okay. He, this month, he's nominated for save of the month in the Premier League. Right? Okay. He's saving last-minute penalties against Copenhagen, their okay. only victory in Europe. Okay. Hero for the day. Then you look at the game against Bayern Munich. Then you look at the game in midweek against Galatasaray. You don't know what you're going to expect. Amazing saves. But then, easy saves that he should make double A. Like Taibi for Manchester United. Masih mau Taibi, ya. Actually, that era. Masih mau Taibi, Mark Bosnich. All the same. Myra, Ate Bayender, or... Uh, yeah, I agree with Adam because um, Afcon is coming in like one month. Um, Bayender will probably play anyway, so I think why not start earlier? Because you have to be honest with yourself. So, macam the whole group stage of your Champions League okay. is now you're like this because of one man. You know uh, what I mean? So a match to me, against yeah. Bayern Munich yes, against. Yes. Uh, Galatasaray yeah. But recently. I agree He's so confusing Because I think he kept Five clean sheets In the Premier League yeah, Just before this That's yeah. a joint yeah. high But look I went through the All mm. the matches To look at this mm. Okay um, Joint most clean sheets In the division mm. <laughs> Alright okay. But conceded 14 in Europe uh, 19th place Everton 17th place Luton 14th place Fulham 20th Burnley And 12th Wolves Those are your clean sheets Right there They also beat 18th place Sheffield United, 15th place Nottingham Forest, and 11th place Brentford. What about all the matches they've got in December? Mm. Okay, so home to Chelsea, home to Bournemouth, home Liverpool? to Bayern Munich, away mm. to Liverpool, away to West Ham, home to Villa, away to Forest. Just look at me on February. <laughs> okay, I'm going to away on this. <laughs> you just disappear. <laughs> you grow your rumble out, you come back, your little apro, look like a different man. But, okay, uh, we got a phone call now. Uh, kita dapat panggilan datangnya dari Alo Star. Hello, Assalamualaikum. Salam. Hello, siapa tu? Hakimi. Siapa? Hakimi, daripada Alo Star. Hakimi. Hakimi, daripada Alo Star. Hakimi, Man United. Yeah. Kau yeah. minat Man United? Ya, betul. Ke, kau masih di belakang Onana ataupun kau, no, kau kena tukar juga. Ataupun tak payah, dua-dua keeper ni sepatutnya. Kau masih lagi cakap yang Man United tu mungkin bodoh sebab melepaskan David De Gea. Ya, sebenarnya transition tu silap dia dekat MU. Sepatutnya dia beli Onana hari tu. Dia maintain dulu at least one season. Ni dia. Kan? Oh, ok. Ataupun sebab kita tengok. Kita tengok strike uh, MU sekarang ni since daripada Van der Sar left dengan dia punya glove tu dekat goal tu. Okay. Dulu masa zaman Van der Sar, problem juga sebelum Van der Sar nak cari successor kepada Schmeichel dulu. Lepas tu cuma nasib Van der Sar tu baik. Waktu dia tu dengan dia punya experience semua, dia ada bidik dengan Ferdinand. Cuma hmm. sekarang ni kalau kita tengok Gigia, waktu zaman dia dekat MU, 4-5 season ni pun, dia tak ada satu combination macam... Uh, macam uh, center back sharing yang betul-betul fit ataupun solid lah setiap season uh, every single game okay. dengan injury ke apa ke pertukaran ke at least tapi dia punya reflection dia punya experience dengan dia punya balance tu ah uh, iti uh, eh mungkin nak 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 sesuatu daripada Onana dia dah, dah masuk kat Onana untuk for distribution positioning hmm. tetapi overall team tu tak boleh nak cope lagi dengan sistem game dia tu kenapa dia nak tukar satu Departemen, departemen dekat goalkeeper tu just untuk dapatkan uh, result tu. Sedangkan midfield pun masih lagi tersepah. Striker pun finishing macam tu. Kita pun tengok kita boleh nilai sendirilah. Onana tu actually dia bagus. Tidak tu takkan lah dia boleh spend untuk beli macam tu dengan perform masa lawan uh, City last season buat tu Champions League. Tapi bila dia masuk ke dalam tim, siapa-siapa datang pun sebenarnya akan 
Rasa benda yang sama. Hakimi, betul punya marah dah. Ha? Hari tu saya... Uh, tengok expectation dia tu memang kesian dekat dia. Masa lawan dengan Everton, dia perform. Tapi bila... Yalah, memang dengan dia punya dia, dia pun ada mistake kita tak salahkan tapi si MU tu pun problem tu yang masalah dia. So kau kau kena cakap as a conclusion kau tengok sebenarnya problem ni bukan kat Onana tapi the whole structure dalam Man United. Uh, tapi dia akan impact lah pasal Onana dia takkan boleh fokus di konsistensi dia kat situ. So bila you expect dia nak dia nak buat so, uh, dia punya save macam dia tu buat every single game you tak boleh expect pasal tu. Kan? Hmm. Alright. Uh, Hakimi, okay. aku rasa kau dah meluahkan apa yang kau... Aku rasa kau dah meluahkan betul, semuanya, betul, betul. Hakimi. <laughs> betul, betul. Okey, Hakimi, aku bagi kau ruang okay. untuk kau nak ada apa-apa yang kau nak tanya dekat Myra ataupun dekat Adam kat sini. Okey, uh, cuma nak minta kat Myra lah. Okey. Ya, boleh kami loan, loan uh, Robert Sanchez tak? <laughs> kat ini, Actually? Kat ini, kat ini, kat ini, kat ini. <laughs> Dah sejak tu dia tak dapat. Saya Ui. continue discussion macam biasa. Kau, kau betul-betul ada masalah sebenarnya ni dengan keeper kan kat Miu ni. Alright, Hakimi. Okay. Thank you so much sebab yeah. call jaga diri, okay? Okay, okay thank you. Alright. He really upset. With Passionate. All such Passionate, yeah. No, look, you can blame the structure, you can blame the owners, tapi on the pitch, what do the owners have to do with that? Okay. You look at some of the games they played across this season, you're struggling to beat Luton. Luton's value of their squad, their hero, Andros Townsend, free. You look at how much MU have spent on all the players there. Yeah. And in this game, and in lots of games, mm. they play so well for 20 minutes. Yeah. Okay. And they'll take the lead. They took the lead Two in minutes. this. Yes, mm. exactly. Where's the game management? Maybe Mana? kita boleh, maybe kita boleh tengok balik uh, tweet tadi sebenarnya. Sebab tadi ada satu tweet yang sem- aku tak sempat nak cakap, dekat, nak bagi tahu dekat Adam. Uh, sebab tadi, one of the tweet tadi, um, kita boleh tengok now. Ya, yeah. from Arif Aaron. He said, letaklah siapa saja nak saya Rizal akan hampir kurang sama. Dah banyak kali game, player MU slow pressing opponent. You agree with that? Yeah, it. they start off very well the first 20 minutes. Even against Bayern. In Munich, really, really good. But then it just collapses. Why is, why is they say 2-0 is the most dangerous scoreline? Mm. For United it is. I mean, with Bruno Fernandes, why are you giving away stupid free kicks? Those free kicks, what happened after that? Yeah. They scored mm. two of the goals there. Bad captaincy, bad leadership on the pitch. They're lacking everything. Bad game management. Uh, and untuk Mayra, bila cakap soal tweet satu lagi, mm. daripada Neil Azmi. Yes. Uh, so, I, I nak petik yang tengah tu. Taktik Eric Ten Hag sekarang terlalu chaotic defensive structure yang lemah. You agree yang taktikal tu terlalu chaotic. I think you get the point. 100%. Uh, it's been going on for a while already actually. The you know when he said macam dia nak jadikan Manchester United the best transition team in the world. Okay. Tapi still not at the expense of like midfield stability like We scored McTominay. Yeah, we scored McTominay and I still tak faham macam you, I don't know why he still starts McTominay. Sebab yeah. I rasa macam dia tahu McTominay boleh jaringkan gol. Is it utility but, base? But yeah, but aside from like the odd goal that he scores, I rasa to me in midfield, a lot of um, why they consider a lot of chances and transitions against Galatasaray pun yeah. because of McTominay and Bruno leaving you know their position. Yeah. And taking Amrabat off? Yes. That was another key there's factor. There's one clip again. Uh, there's one moment. I think during the second half, there's one part. Kobe Maino dribbled against four players Galatasaray. But you have to pass it back because Scott McTominay didn't make any run. Yes, he's there and they're, ah. they're very angry. Fans very, very angry with him for that. I can understand why. Okay, last part before we close this topic. Okay, Adam, Mayra. Should they make another, hit another panic button during winter transfer? No, try the... I know goalkeeper. we are talking about goalkeeper right now, but any panic button for Man United? Defensive area? Defensive? Yeah. What more could they want? They got literally Champions League winners, World Cup winners in the team now. And I, how many more steps do you want to take? But Champions League winner didn't suit his style. You get it? There's <laughs> always an excuse. There's always an excuse. If anything, maybe Amrabat hasn't worked out. Maybe okay. a defensive midfielder. I still am not convinced by Casemiro, his age. <laughs> and how much he's being paid and how long his contract is. Ah. Every year, every transfer window, there's always question marks about players. With Onana, I don't know, AFCON coming up, start the new keeper, what have you got to lose? He had hernia surgery, he had shoulder surgery, so there's mm. question marks about him as well. It's a lot of fix in Manchester United. Maybe during February I will start tweet. 
All hail Tom Hinton. Well, your hairstyle is like Ten Hag. So, why not, right? <laughs> Mayra, yeah. and, any panic button untuk Mayra to do Uh Not really. Goalkeeper, you can still use by in there. Tapi, okay. And in defence, um, maybe for squad death, uh, maybe a DM, but also maybe a right wing, but if you have money. But if not... Because what does this do for the credibility of, of Eric Ten Hag? Who did he want? He wanted him. He wanted Anthony. Yeah. He starts selling these players, getting rid of them, replacements. I think only Guardiola and Klopp can go out, buy a goalkeeper for a lot of money, say, oh, I made a mistake, sorry, and get someone else. Claudio Bravo to Edison, for example. But the most crucial position in Man United is defensive midfield, and he wanted to get uh, Frankie de Jong. So, is to it low? totally is different. It? Because on the right wing, yeah. you're suffering there. You're... <laughs> Superstar striker hasn't scored a Premier League goal yet. Oh. Your centre back, you're playing Johnny Evans and Maguire, who were partners at Leicester years ago. You're bringing back someone that left the club like ten years ago to come back in yeah. and keep the run on the bench. Is defensive midfielder the most important question, or is it actually the whole team? It's a community club, actually, not football club. That's it for me. <laughs>